Mom, what's your location? It was uh, August 4th in the morning, and uh, you know, we was working at different jobs. We're all volunteers here. Uh, they said they got a kid in the auger. There's a what? A kid in the auger. In an auger? Yes. We got the page that morning that uh, there was a boy caught in an auger. Once we got on scene, we figured out there was not one, but two boys stuck in the auger. One was laying on top of the other. One of them looked like he was laying inside of the, the auger and the other one was laying on top of him. I, I was overwhelmed for a little bit, uh, but then I, like I said, the main thing was just, let's get these two boys out. Oh yeah, it, was, it wasn't going as fast as what we would have liked. At times, you know, uh, I thought if we don't hurry up, we're going to lose them. You know, our, that was our, our goal was to get them on the choppers alive. Everybody came together. And everybody stayed focused on what they needed to do as a group. You know, it wasn't an individual thing by any means on anybody's part. It was, it was a coordinated effort with a lot of people. For the time of day in the middle of the week, I'd have to say this was an A+. Plus. You know, there, there were so many possible dangers in that environment with the, just the type of extrication it was going to be. And, you know, I, and I know that with the group of firefighters that we have in the county that I can walk into any scene and it's going to be safe if there's other firefighters on that scene. Couldn't ask for a better group of guys than, than what we have in uh, northern Corcoran County.